Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a pretty big haul from a good many different places. Uh, let's see, I, Chris and I did go down to Williamsburg yesterday and I do have a little bit of footage that I'll put here uh, of our of our drive down and uh, it was just a tragedy of errors yesterday. I'm telling you, the traffic was super duper heavy as we were going. I don't know where everybody was going, maybe the beach uh, because Williamsburg's kind of on the way to Virginia Beach, uh, but it was heavy. So it took us a, not any longer than it normally does, but it was just like a, you know, a, a nerve wracking kind of ride down. So I didn't do a lot of vlogging. In fact, I didn't do a lot of vlogging while I was there either, just because every time I went into a store, they had music playing. And you know how music can mess with those of us here on YouTube with our copyrights. You know, we can't have any other kind of music coming on or we'll get hit with a, with a copyright claim. So, Whatever footage you see when I'm talking about the store, if I've taken footage of it, I'll put it here in a picture in picture for you guys so y'all can take a look at, you know, what was in the store as I'm yammering along here. So uh, let me just say where I have this haul from. As I said, the pottery and uh, Yankee Candle, the, the big flagship store down there. It's called Yankee Candle Village uh, and the Christmas Mouse. So I got all uh, something, a little something from each place there. Uh, you know, something little from each place. I didn't spend a ton of money down there. Of course, I didn't go to spend a ton of money. We just went to, you know, to get away and to do something for something to do. Uh, I also have a haul from Amazon and I have a haul from Bath and Body Works, a very small haul from Bath and Body Works. So, and, and uh, I have a very special gift here and I have another one coming, but it's not here yet, but I will show you that one when it comes. But I have one very special gift that one of you guys sent me. So I'm telling you, you guys are way too good to me. You guys way too good to me. Honest to goodness. Wait till you see this. I'm going to save it for last though. I'm going to save it for last. Okay. So let's get started. Let's start off with uh, the pottery. Uh, you know, and as I explained in what vlogging I did do yesterday, the pottery has been really revamped. For those of you that might have been down there in the 80s and 90s, uh, here we come into the pottery. It looks totally different now than what it used to. Look at this, isn't it pretty? I mean, it makes you want to go shop in there. There's no one, it's not many people here, which is good. But everything's done in French, if you will notice. The next one down. Well, we always go in to this one, but I think the flags are the next one down. This is like the um, garden stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You can go in here though and just walk. Yeah, we're gonna park. Uh, and even the early 2000s, uh, they have gotten well. The warehouses are still there, but they've emptied out all the warehouses and they built a whole new kind of like a an upscale kind of a strip mall kind of a thing uh, with a really pretty facade I'm showing you here as we pull in. A really pretty facade and everything written in French and English, you know, and uh, it's set up much like the pottery was, but it's uh, a lot cleaner and a lot more organized, you know. Not that it was dirty, it was just cluttery you know, in the, in those big warehouses and they had stuff strewn everywhere. It's not the case now. Everything is very well organized and you can go from building to building to building. You need to pay at the end of each building, but it's like, I don't know, maybe five or six or seven buildings. We didn't, we only went through two. So, uh, but let me show you what I got. I went looking for flags specifically. I went looking for flags, but on the way to the flags, I saw these and, um, Again, I have no idea where I'm going to put these, but they were $3 a piece, and I thought they were really cute, and they're just little jugs with a heart, you know, with a kittle candle holder. You know, you can put it like a votive candle in there, or a, um, you know, a battery-operated candle in there just to light it up. But I got two of these, 
and I had two in my cart and Chris said, they don't match. Let me go get you ones that match. <laughs> I had one that was really a lot darker than the other. So he picked these out and boy, howdy, he did match them, didn't he? They look really pretty. So we got these two and they're heavy, you guys. They're heavy as lead and they were only $3. Uh, well, you can see. Here I go with this again. Maybe there you can see. <laughs> so, but I, you know, they'll probably go on my hutch or maybe even in this hutch or who knows. You'll see them strewn around my decor. Strewn. The word of the day is strewn. S-T-R-E-W-N. Strewn. <laughs> I've used it like three times already in this video. Oh my goodness. But anyway, I really like those. They had them with a star too, but I really like the heart. I really like the heart. I like hearts and stars. I kind of go back and forth and use both things, but those had heart. And I, I preferred the hearts in that, in that way. So we did also get a couple of garden flags and uh, a couple of regular size flags, you know, and this is normally where I get my flags is down here, but they were picked over. That's another thing about yesterday. All of the stores, except for the Christmas mouse, the Christmas mouse was pretty full, uh, but the Yankee Candle Village place, it was, it was picked over, you guys, and uh, they had a good many candles, but I like to go for their other stuff, you know? And uh, they had a good amount, but I could tell they didn't have a lot of fall out. Everywhere else you go, you see fall everywhere, you know? Uh, they had Easter stuff on sale, that kind of thing, you know? But, um, uh, so the powdery was picked over big time. So these are more uh, kind of springy flags, but, uh, I got this Bless This Home, which I thought was really pretty. I'm not going to take anything out of the packaging right today. But Bless This Home is just a garden size flag. But isn't that pretty? They're kind of poppies, I guess. You know me and my flowers, but I believe they're poppies. And then we got Chris, where is it? Chris picked out this flag. And I'm just going to show you the picture of it. He picked this out and then we got this to go with it because this did not have a pear, a garden uh, flag pear. And as you know, I hang like a standard size flag and then a garden flag, but I thought that was super pretty. And they're two-sided, well, maybe I will take this out to show you. They're two-sided uh, flags. Okie dokie, here we go. Isn't that pretty? Can you see? There we go. Just pretty daisies with ladybugs and a pretty red and white welcome. You can put this up in the summertime. It doesn't have to be spring. I think this is beautiful. Matter of fact, I may put this out, you know, maybe in August or something. Isn't that pretty? I would, maybe I should make a wreath to go with this. Wouldn't that be pretty? Oh my goodness. Let's give Marlin an idea. Let's make another wreath. Let's procrastinate longer since her stuff for her wreath that go on this back door is still sitting right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, while I'm up, let me show you the other one that we got. Wow, this one's a little bit thicker than the other one. Oh, wow. This is pretty. Look at this with the cardinals. Isn't that pretty? Wow. The birdhouse and the cardinals. Two-sided. So pretty. And then I got a garden flag to match. So that is, they are super pretty. Love this. This one especially is very nice and thick and pretty. This cardinal flag that you picked out yesterday is beautiful. I mean, it is so pretty and thick and nice. Look at the felt. I mean, that's beautiful. Hopefully it'll hold up or right outside. But the birds are in like felt. This is beautiful. This was no more expensive than the other one either. I don't believe. I'm fibbing. This was $10 more. The Songbird Floral. Put my glasses on. Make sure. Songbird Floral was, which is this one, was $24.98. But still, $24.98. I remember when we used to have buy these flags for 50 bucks, you guys. And then the other one was $14.98. And the one Songbird Floral Garden Flag was $11.99. And the garden, the other garden flag was $9.98. So, and we got 
a discount because we're both considered senior citizens there. I think anything over 55 is considered a senior citizen. So we're both, we both qualified <laughs> and got, I think a 10% discount. So, wow, I can't wait to put these up. These are beautiful. Goodness gracious. Okay. So Chris picked that pretty one out. I'm telling you, he's got great taste. Okay. Okie dokie. So that was it for the pottery. And then after the pottery, we got back in the car and we ran over to, I believe it was Yankee Candle that we came to next. And I've got a lot of footage from in there. And so let me just chat with you a little bit. This store, you guys, is amazing. Amazing. It is a... <laughs> A combination. They have Vera Bradley in there. They've got other high-end purses in there. They've got uh, pretty German. I know they're from Germany. Blue and white dishes, not like what I have. And I don't. And you'll some if I if you see them in there, you'll know what I'm talking about in the video. Uh, and then you go out into once you once you come through one side, the other side is nothing but candles and tarts and like room sprays and uh, wall, you know, plug-ins. And you, there's a place where the kids can make their own or anybody can make their own candle. Uh, I mean, it's just awesome. They have like a little country store within this little uh, Yankee Candle Village. They have. Uh, a big clock and that uh, stuffed animals come out or kind of like the animated animals come out and sing. I've got that a little bit on video too. And, you know, they sell fudge and they sell popcorn in kind of a central area of the whole thing. It's kind of like an open air, not open air, it's not open air, but it has really high ceilings and it kind of gives you that feeling. You know how you feel when you go to Disney World? That's what I told Chris yesterday. I feel like I'm at Disney World with the music playing and that this, it was just that kind of a, you know, an atmosphere, a little bit of a festive atmosphere. It's, it's a lovely store. If you guys ever get the chance, please do stop in there. I think it's, like I said, I think it's the Yankee Candle Village. And it's a store that stands all on its own. It does uh, have a Carrabba's restaurant attached to it, but, you know, that just sits next to it. But if you ever get the chance, please definitely go in there. I only bought a couple of things from they are literally two things. That's all I bought, and they were two towels. That's all I bought. Uh, they had tons of Vera in there. I could have gone wild in there. They had tons of candles. I have so many candles, you guys. I don't need one more candle. Of course, I'm going to show you candles here in a minute. <laughs> I don't need any more Yankee candles. I've got tons, you know. And I, I just, I just didn't, didn't really find anything that just said buy me, buy me, buy me. And I just, I didn't go thinking I wouldn't spend money, but I just didn't. So. I ended up getting two of these pretty towels. Look at these. And they're a little bit of a different color, but I think I could hang one in my powder room and one in the kitchen, or just switch these out, or one on one side of the powder room, one on the other side of the powder room. Aren't they pretty? Just so pretty. And they were like six, yeah, six ninety, yeah, six ninety nine a piece. So I thought they were pretty. But uh, that's all I got. That's all I got from there. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I walked out there and I was like, Chris, I didn't buy anything. He goes, I know. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I said, I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's something definitely amiss with me. But that's all I bought from Yankee Candle. That's it. So, but I encourage you to go. I encourage you to go. And I hope you've, you know, enjoyed some of the pictures and some of the footage. The Christmas shop. Let me show you that footage. Oh, I didn't say anything. I just walked in and just... I'm amazed at this place that they have set up as a, you know, as a Christmas with Christmas trees and Christmas ornaments and displays of like angels and snowmen and Santa Clauses. And I, I, I could have bought five million different things, but I don't need them. You guys, I honest to goodness don't need one more decor, one more piece of decor for my Christmas or my fall for that matter. 
honest to Pete, I don't. So I refrained, I didn't buy anything. And how I got through there, I will never know. You can see by the footage how pretty it is. It's just so pretty. And we walked out of there and it was snowing. They had like bubbles that looked like snow. It was, I had such a good time. I needed that. I needed to, uh, you know, just to go someplace where uh, the worries of the day kind of melted away. Of course, the day before I had been with Maverick and the worries of the day melted for. So I've had two days this week where I've, you know, I've had two really good days where I've not let my anxiety get go through the roof, you know. As I told you guys, I'm struggling a bit with that. I am. And uh, so I'm working my way through it, though. I'm pulling myself up by my bootstraps, and I'm working my way through it, you know. That's all we can do. We take it one day at a time, right? I'm not going to sing. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling. Uh, our next and last stop in Williamsburg was the Christmas Mouse. Now, I hope you guys have been to a Christmas Mouse. If not, it is a, it is a store that has nothing but Christmas. Christmas trees, Christmas ornaments, Christmas plaques, Christmas stuffed animals, Christmas everything. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. It is the most fun store you would ever want to go in. I sent the girls a picture and, and Kristen said, oh, is that the Christmas mouse? Oh my gosh, you know, she said, I can smell it from here. You know, that's what she said because it always has a really nice Christmassy smell. It's just, again, the atmosphere is warm and cozy and it just makes a girl feel good to be in there. So I did pick up not really anything Christmassy, but one thing, I'll show you that last and what and everything else but i got mr maverick i got him a little giraffe they had ty stuff there this is ty so but any cute a little giraffe i'm gonna put this up in the crib upstairs <laughs> so i can just see him grabbing him by the neck and off he goes you know <laughs> so i bought him a little giraffe super cute well made you know very very cute <laughs> so i got him that and then I picked myself up, speaking of Maverick, <laughs> and I'm going to replace, I have a plaque like as you're coming out of the uh, family room into the foyer. If you look up, I have a little, little wall right there and I have a plaque on it, but I'm going to replace it with this one. Life is just better with grandkids. Life is just better with grandkids. <laughs> I love it. So anyway, so I got that in the black and this is the same color as my hem plaque is in. That's kind of on that, within your same vision kind of as that wall. So I wanted to get this. When I saw this, I was like, well, I know right where this is gonna go. So love this. Life is just better with grandkids and that is so true. And then as we were going out, I found this, which I thought was super cute. Well, winter, winter welcome. And it's gonna go right here in my foyer. I know where I'm gonna put it already. Isn't that cute? Love that, love the color of the snowman scarf. We got the red cardinal. Hello, this was $17.50. Oh, this was $17.50. It's a running cost. Both of these were $17.50, which is not bad. I mean, this is heavy, this is pretty nice. It's not cheap for sure. So I got that. And then Chris actually picked out this. I wanted to, I went in there specifically get to get a baby's first Christmas ornament, you know. And Chris said they didn't have any, you know, it's a boy or it's a girl ornaments at all. But he did, he picked this out. He picked out this little angel. And it just says, baby's first Christmas. Isn't that cute? So that will go on one of one of the trees, but I love that. So for little Mr. Maverick, he needed his first ornament, right? Absolutely. I may order him one with his name on it, you know, and start making that a tradition or something every year. My mom and dad did that for my kids. Like one year she got them bells, another year she got them little like little reindeer, little snowmen, you know, and just a little little. Uh, not pewter like this, but hers were in like gold, you know. So. From the Christmas house, and that's all I got from, you know, our trip to Williamsburg. Can you guys believe it? I really did. I spent under $100, I believe. Well, I would say just over 100 
I mean, for me, for a trip to Williamsburg, that's pretty good. <laughs> I didn't go to, into any of the outlets. I did. But anyway, that's it for that. So let me go into my uh, Bath and Body Works haul. I didn't do anything major from there either, other than they had their half-priced candles. So I did jump on a few of the candles because I love their candles. Their candles smell so good. They're three wick candles. So I just got three candles and then I got five uh, hand sanitizers, which I have already dispersed around the house. <laughs> so I don't have them to show you, but I just got five of, you know, the little hand sanitizer bottles. But this, Chris really loves this smell. This is flannel. So I got that and it's just in a plain green container, but I wish, I wish, I wish I could, we had smell a tube, but um, it's this made with essential oils, and let's see, fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, soft musk, and with essential oils. All of these candles are made with essential oils, so, but I wish you could smell it. So this smells super good, super good. It's kind of a masculine smell, I would say. Kind of a masculine smell, but it smells really good. So, and this is called Sweater Weather. <laughs> and this is just in a blue container. And it has a fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic eucalyptus, fresh woods with essential oils. And again, this is a fresh smell. This is a very fresh, light, but fallish. Kind of like a, a fall morning would smell if you were walking in the walking in the woods. I've got a drip of something on my glasses. <laughs> and it smells really good and fresh. I love their candles. Highly recommend their candles, you guys. Really and truly. And then I got this one, which is crisp morning air. But look at the container. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. And this is even fresher. This is this puts me in the mind of like fresh cotton or, or clean cotton from, from Yankee Candle, if you're familiar with that. That's what that puts me in the mind of. Or even sun and sand, you know. Uh, crisp fall breeze. Uh, now, how they bottled that into it or how they, they added that into a candle is beyond me. Crisp fall breeze. <laughs> White oak, golden amber wood, saffron, soft sandalwood with essential oils. This one's white. And they're all three wick candles. Of course, you can't see the white one. They're all three wick candles. And they last a long time, and boy, do they smell good. They really, really, really do. So that's all I got from Bath and Body Works. That's it, just the three candles and, you know, like I said, the little, little travel size uh, hand sanitizers. So... Okay, so let's move on to Amazon. And that's the last store, and then I have the gift to show you. So uh, here we go again with another uh, flag. I'm not gonna get back up, you guys. Uh, but this is just, this is from Amazon, and I have a whole gift idea, or an idea list is what they call, all the little lists that you see on my Amazon storefront are called idea lists to me. So I had made a whole new idea list. Somebody had asked me that in my Facebook group if I would do that. And this is one of the flags that's in there. And I just love it. It's got cardinals sitting in a birdhouse with a really dark blue background. Wouldn't this be perfect for winter, like after? You could even use this at Christmas time. Why couldn't you use this as a Christmas flag? So, because it does have the Christmas wreath on it. It's so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. So, I got that. And then I got a, I don't know how much it is, you guys. I don't remember how much it was. I don't have the, the cost here. But then I got a, a garden flag to match. Let me open this up. There we go. And it matches. I'll be using these at Christmas time, I think. Aren't they pretty? I just love them. So Amazon. Amazon is a great place. And these were not expensive. Trust me. They were not expensive. They were cheaper than what I bought from the pottery, I feel sure. Uh, but do check out that in my Amazon storefront. I have an idealist 
that I don't think that's what it's called for you guys, but it's an idealist with just nothing but decorative flags, garden flags, garden flags, and regular flags. Be careful when you're buying them though. When you're, if you're looking for a standard flag, make sure it's the standard flag size. And if you're buying a garden flag or only going for a garden flag, make sure it's the garden flag size. So be careful, you know, when you do that. So when you go looking. So got that. And then I got uh, some blue hydrangea flowers in this cobalt blue. Y'all know I, I decorate more with the cobalt than I do the navy. I do a combination of both, honestly, I do. But I love this cobalt blue too. And these came like this. I don't remember how many are in here. Let me see if it says 10 pieces. So 10 hydrangeas and 10 stems. And the stems are come like rubber banded. And then you just put it together nice and sturdy fluff it out, you know, and then you have a really pretty, a really pretty blue hydrangea in that beautiful cobalt blue color. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. So I got a whole bag of those. Not expensive, you guys. I really like the Amazon florals. I'm very pleasantly surprised that you can get them for a good price. You don't have to walk into a store. I know some of you are not real comfortable as I am really not because we're going to see Maverick a lot. Going into a bunch of stores, I will say the pottery was dead. Every store we went into, we were about the only ones there other than the Yankee Candle, but it's a huge store and we were very easily socially distanced. But honestly, around here, I, it's, there's not a lot of people in the stores, but I still haven't been going into many. Amazon is a good choice if you are afraid. Uh, you know, I encourage you to try some of their florals. They really are really, really, really good. So, got a bag of those. I am excited to use those, they're pretty. Then, as you all know, I have been doing my own fingernails. Yes, I have. This is an S-C, E-S-S-I-E, -S -S -E, an S-C color. And I do wanna show you, I have a bunch of S-C colors because I went, went a little crazy because they really did last. I had this color on, I had it on for two solid weeks and I only had to touch it up once and I'm very impressed with the SC Polish. Miracle gel. I also love the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel, but it doesn't last quite as long as the SC. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm, it just doesn't, although they have beautiful, beautiful colors. So I did get some more colors from them too. This is Electric Pop. Yeah, Electric Pop. That's what this one is. And that a pretty, that's a pretty corally color corally pink. It's kind of telescoping pink. It looks in person. It looks more coral, a light coral. And I did get a white. Get Mod is what that's called. So, and then I got me some glitter. <laughs> kind of white glitter. And it's called Snow Globe. That's exactly what it looks like. That is exactly what it looks like. Let me turn this light out. This is driving me nuts here. Hang on. Alexa, turn dining room light off. Okay. Now it's really dark. Maybe you can see. Oh, yeah, that didn't help at all, did it? <laughs> Maybe a little. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Look at the iridescence. That is really pretty. Just to put over, you know, as a kind of over your top coat or right before you put your top coat on. I love it. And I think that's all I got from the Sally Hansen. But then here is the SC colors. I'm just going to leave my lights off for a second. So just hang in here with me for a minute. Uh, first thing I got was a base coat. They don't have, I couldn't find a base coat in the Essie Couture. That's what these are called. C-O-U-T-U-R-E, I think. Couture, Couture, something like that. And uh, you can see they have the fancy bottle. And I'll show you that color up close in a minute here. But uh, this is the base coat that I got from Essie. Uh, because I had not been putting an S a base coat on with these and I my, my nails got discolored a little bit. So I really feel like you need a base coat. 
you know, before you put your color on. So just try to find a good base coat that you like. This is the one I chose to buy and it's just from Essie and it's in my Amazon storefront. And uh, it's just a grow stronger base coat. And I think it's helping. I mean, my nails are looking, this one, as I told you last week, it broke, but it's even growing out a little bit, you know? So I got a base coat. And then here are all the colors I got. Oh my goodness. As I said, this is the color I had on last week. And this one is called Sequins on the Rocks. So that's kind of a dark corally. Why couldn't you even mix them and do, you know, this, this on this nail? and do the darker on the rest, would that be pretty? Or vice versa, that would be pretty. So that's Sequins on the Rocks is that one. This is a really pretty pink, I haven't tried this one yet. This one is Women with Wisdom. Yes, we have a lot of wisdom, ladies and gents. <laughs> this is pretty, it's a very pretty soft pink. Kind of almost like a mauve pink, it's pretty. I got that. Then I'm saving what I have on my nails for last. This, I really cannot wait to try both of these. These, You know me and my reds, I love reds. This one is Drop the Gown. That's a little risque, huh? Drop the Gown. <laughs> but isn't that a pretty color? That is, that is such, I don't know, open it. That is such a pretty color. Even the wand on these, look at the wand. It's even like twisted. So the nail, the, the nail polish doesn't drip really fast, but that is such a pretty color. I can't wait to try that. Drop the gown. <laughs> oh my heavens. Uh, then this one is bubbles only. And this is a darker red. Isn't that pretty? Look at the difference on the reds. The drop your gown is a little brighter and this is a little deeper red. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait to try the reds. And then this is the one I have on and this is the It Factor. And it is super pretty, super pretty on. And then I just use a top, this is called platinum, I think. Platinum top coat, it just says top coat here but it has platinum Gray, gray, platinum grade finish is what it says there on that. This little banner around the top. But you do not, but somebody asked me this too, you do not have to, on any of this polish, on the Sally Hansen or on the Essie, you do not have to use a light. You don't have to use a UV light or anything to set the gel. Both are designed to set without it. This comes off very, very easily with, you know, your fingernail polish remover. I also have uh, some of those from Qtex in there in my Amazon shop. They work great. They just are one little, um, they come in individual packages and it's one little sheet and it took off all my polish really easy when I had it in this, you know, when I had it, when I had them painted in this color, I just switched to this night before we went to see Candace to this other one. So, I love it. I think this will last easy two weeks. I am gonna to have to touch it up a little bit. You know, I can tell that it's starting to just to come up, up just the edges are getting worn a little bit and I, I do like to touch them up. So I'll touch them up, you know, and then they'll go another week. I love it. I love the Essie, E-S-S-I-E, Essie Couture. If I've pronounced that right. <laughs> From Amazon, all of those colors and more can be found in my Amazon storefront for sure. All of this stuff can be that I'm showing you now. So, I'm having a bad hair day, y'all. I'm really sorry. It's just a bad hair day. It's so stinking humid outside. I curled it. Look, I curled it all over the place. Curled it. Curled it with a little teeny tiny curling iron. It's just a little one. And I look like I never even done. Oh, I'm a mess. I'm sorry. Please, please excuse me. <laughs> So anyway, moving on, uh, the last thing I got from Amazon were a couple things here. I, and I have a, a whole way, uh, a whole Amazon storefront idea list for these two. 
uh, and it's a big one. I've got a lot of these signs in that gift idea shop. I also have brackets that you could use to, to hang these signs on. These are the hanging signs that I use out on my mailbox, you guys. Now, they are not designed to go on a mailbox. <laughs> That's just where we decided, I decided I wanted to utilize these. Uh, we used to have one of these hanging off of our front porch. And our front porch was wooden. And I didn't mind, or Chris didn't mind, putting holes in the wood, you know, because he could fill them if necessary. Well, we left the bracket there anyway at the other house. Uh, but we don't want to put it on here because these, these uh, columns were wrapped in vinyl. And they're really nice, and I just didn't want to put holes in these. So I decided, where can I use these signs? Where in the world can I use these signs? And then it hit me one day. I had an epiphany like I normally do, you know, and I said, I want to hang them on the mailbox. And Chris said, I hope they don't get stolen out there. I said, I hope they don't. And nobody's ever taken them. Nobody's ever taken them. Of course, we live out in the country, but we are in a neighborhood, you know. Uh, but anyway, my signs I've had for literally decades. And I still use, as you all have seen, I use them all the time. Every month I'm changing them out pretty much. But look what I found. I found this beautiful little cardinal and they even make the chain so that it will hang straight you know one's longer than the other so when I hang this under the mailbox it'll hang straight but isn't that cute it is a birdhouse it is a literal birdhouse look at that I love it but what I'll do is I'll put something in here so that a bird can't literally get in there and make a nest because they will do it they will do it I got this and these, I'm going to warn you, are not the cheapest things known to man. Most are around $30. Uh, some are more, some are less. Most are around that or more, to be honest. I'm just being straightforward and honest. And now I feel like I'm sitting in the dark. Hang on. I'm going to talk to Alexis again. Alexa again. Alexa, turn on dining room light. Okay. Ta-da. There we go. Better. And... Then it's, we're, we have, we're under a thunderstorm warning. I probably should finish this up here. Uh, and then my poor, decrepit, white birdhouse, the star birdhouse that I've been using forever and a day that you all have seen five billion times. It was so decrepit. We've painted it three or four times. It was just, it was just, it was a mess. So I needed a new one. So they had one there. And that's how I found these on Amazon, you guys. I went looking at piperclassics.com, which is where I've gotten these, all of these in the past. And they don't have a very big selection anymore. Plus, you have to pay shipping. You go on Amazon, you use Amazon Prime, you get free shipping. Yeah, you still got to pay the chunk of change for it, but at least you get free shipping, you know? So, I, I bought this to replace my... I'm going to take this out to the mailbox now and replace it. And again, get Chris to make me a little something in there so that birds cannot make a nest. But they're super cute. Again, they come with the chains on them. And I think the brackets, I think I read in one of the reviews, when you look at the brackets in my list, uh, I, you can't necessarily see that there are little hooks screwed into the brackets underneath so that you can hang, you know, your chain on them. But I think I read that they do, because I noticed that, and I think somebody had asked in the reviews, and they said, oh, yeah, they came with little hooks. So just wanted to clarify that, tell you that. So hopefully they will come. If not, you can screw a couple of little cuff hooks in there. No big deal. So but anyway, I'm super happy with these. I didn't take this off. Sorry. That's just a where a bird can perch. Definitely. I'm keeping it on there and keep it safe. But I was very impressed with the quality of these. Very nice. Very, very nice. So I wanted to let you know about all of that. And I think that's it except for one thing. I got an email from Teresa Meyer. She's the one that made uh, Little Maverick's beautiful cream-colored quilt. Uh, and is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And she said, Arlene, I just couldn't stand it. She said, I just couldn't stand it. I had to make you one for your house too. Now, how sweet is that, you guys? How sweet is that? I couldn't believe it. I'm so touched. You guys touch me. You guys touch me so much with your words, your, your encouragements, your positivity. And y'all know what? I have to tell you this. I was telling Chris this. I'll get to that 
in just a minute what she made me. I'll get to it. I'll, I promise. I said, do you know I have not had one off-color remark in my Arlen's Country Craft Corner and Travels group? And he said, Marlene, you know them all. And I said, yeah, I do. I do. I absolutely do know all of you guys. And I'm surprised that I remembered all of your names. <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of people join in there. And because I guess because I've interacted with you guys for so long, you know, in comments. And I really do read every comment, you guys. I know I can't. I, I'm really bad with responding back. I do try to answer questions. But it's just so many comments anymore that I just, but I do read them all, I promise. When you see my heart go on those comments, you know I've read them and I've taken them to my heart. And I've recognized, unless it's somebody obscure, and if you've not gotten in and you've tried to join and I've not approved you to come in, that's because I don't recognize, I don't know who you are. So you might need to email me at arlinsccc at gmail.com and let me know, hey Arlen, I'm trying to get in your group. This is my Facebook name. I am really this on YouTube and then I'll let you in, you know, but I'm just not going to let some, some person that I don't, I don't recognize in, you know, unless I recognize you either if you're from the decorating group or from one of the decorating groups that we are having common or one of my travel groups, of course, I'm just not, I just don't willy nilly let people in. So I, I do want to assure you guys of that too, that everybody has been vetted <laughs> by my brain. Hopefully my brain's still in working order, you know? So, I have no fear, but not one, not one. And that is something to be said. I give us all kudos, kudos to all of us for not getting off color in any way in that group. Anybody, that's amazing. We have, I, I think I'm either close to 2,000 or over 2,000 in there now, you guys. And that's, that's saying something with, with, you know, a lot of people, you all are such sweet spirits, such sweet spirits, all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that so much. Y'all will never know. I really hesitated doing that because I just wasn't sure I was going to be able to keep up with it. And, and there are days when I struggle to keep up with it, but most of the time I've done okay, you know. So, but anyway, let me show you. Is this not adorable? Oh my word. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is, huh? What a talent. She is so talented. I, I have so much respect for you guys who quilt and look at the little dog paws and bones on the back. <laughs> it couldn't be any more perfect. It couldn't be any more perfect. Absolutely adorable. So this will either go on the back of that chair or on his crib but I love it. Thank you so much, Teresa. Thank you so, so much, girl. <laughs> I just stepped around one thing here that I wanted to be sure and show you that I forgot from Amazon. I showed this when I walked around our house the other day and was just showing you my, that Candace had this in her guest bedroom with, I don't have any of the towels here, but they're, again, they're linked in the bathroom. <laughs> idealist in my Amazon store and so were these baskets but these are huge these are huge and lovely and nice and not expensive I think this was $20 not expensive Oop, I hit the birdhouse there but it's really pretty and it holds four of those big sheet towels perfectly it helps to push push it out this I just got out of a box the other day so it needs to be you know Put something in it to make it take its shape, but it's really nice. It has two handles, one here and one over here that you can lift up. It's lovely. This is lovely. So an idea for your guest bedrooms, you know, or to keep stuffed animals or baby toys or, you know, sky's the limit for those baskets, but it's really nice. So, all righty, you guys, that's about it. That's about it. That's all I have here to show you. Of course, I'll get off and then remember, oh, I forgot to show them this or that, but I'll show it to you next time if I did uh, forget anything. So <laughs> I hope you guys are fair and okay. Uh, it's been hotter than the hinges here, you guys. I am not even kidding. It has been in the hundreds with the, with the, uh, with the heat index up above 100, way up above 100. I think it was 110 yesterday. It was craziness. I am telling you. 
And uh, so I hope that those of you who are living, you know, through this heat wave kind of thing are doing okay. And that I hope that all of your loved ones are doing okay and that nobody is struggling or suffering, you know. And uh, it's just keep your chins up, you guys. Just keep your chins up. That's what I tell myself every day. If I had a better hair day, it'd be better. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, but, you know, we just have to keep on looking up and looking forward and leave the past in the past, you know. And I will bring oh. you what I can, I promise you guys. I promise you guys. And I'm not going anywhere. Like I said the other day, I'm not going anywhere. But I may not be as scheduled as I have been in the, you know, in the past. Once I get into my fall decor, then, of course, we'll settle into a routine again. But until then, I doubt it. And we are going to have that company for that whole week. I don't know whether I'll be able to give, bring you. Uh, they're coming the 17th, I think, of August and going to stay a week. So I don't know whether I'll be able to bring you videos during that week or not. I may, some vlog style videos with them in it, you know, may be able to do that. So. Anyway, all right, you guys, <laughs> I could ramble on all day, and it's been a long one here. I don't know how much I'll be able to edit this down, but I have 51 minutes. Oh, my goodness, I didn't realize this would be that long. Anyway, so let me go into my final words and say, I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, Y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.